Though the conditions seem dire, a C-130 fire bomber like B-134 is modified for such extreme conditions. The C-130 is an amazing aircraft. It's a robust, strong airplane that was built to haul and deliver a lot of cargo and a lot of weight. They make wonderful air tankers. C-130 air tankers are retrofitted with structural reinforcements in their fuselage to accommodate tanks that carry more than 16 tons of fire retardant. Having four big engines on a C-130 like that, it is wonderful to be able to power out of something if you find yourself in a position to be in trouble. But no aircraft is invulnerable. And for professional flight crews, safety is a priority. The 737 crew is dead right. These winds are too crazy. All right, I'm calling this one off on the five fire control. Kum FCC, Coulson B-134. Go ahead, Coulson B-134. Kum FCC, conditions at Adam Inemy, too smoky and windy. There's no way to make a drop here. Copy that, Coulson B-134. The Fire Control Centre in Cooma, Australia, serves as a local base for the New South Wales Rural Fire Service. It coordinates firefighting efforts in the area, both on the ground and in the air. B-134, we're sending through coordinates for an alternative target, the peak view. Stand by. Your new heading is 085. Copy that, Kuma FCC, 085, proceeding to peak view. The C-130 is directed to another fire. New heading is set. All right, plan B. Here we go. 